Hi, I'm Jake, and this is my band, the Chardon Polka Band. You're going to hear us play a lot of music on this show. There's Mike, Mitch, Bob, and the guy with the mustache is Brian. Since I was 16 years old, polka music has been my job. And at that job, I get to see and do some pretty crazy and interesting stuff. And I want to share those experiences and the music I love so much with all of you. This is The World According to Polka. The Chardon Polka Band plays many popular Oktoberfest-style events here in the United States, in places like Tulsa, Oklahoma, Fort Worth, Texas, and perhaps the highest Oktoberfest event in the whole country, 8,000 feet above sea level at Snowbird, a mountain on the outskirts of Salt Lake City. For over a decade now, I've been blessed to spend my autumn months driving from one side of the country to the other with the Chardon Polka Band playing these wonderfully unique events. And today, we've left our home base in Cleveland, Ohio to travel to the West Coast for one of the biggest Oktoberfest events in the whole country. The Mount Angel Oktoberfest in Mount Angel, Oregon. So hold on to your hats and fill up your steins because today we're celebrating Oktoberfest at one of the most beautiful places on planet Earth. Oh, we went to a show just the other day, but they didn't have any money, so I said that we won't play. Then they said something to catch our ears. If you play us some book, I will give you some beer. If you play us some book, I will give you some beer. If you want to hear polka, this is what you do. You don't need no money, you just got to give us some brew. If you can't pay well, then you're going to hear. We'll play you some polka, just give us some beer. We'll play you some polka, just give us some beer. Which Schlitz, pale ale, or old style. We'll drink all the beer, we'll play all the while. And if we start to sound sloppy, don't get upset. Red free beer and polka, you take what you get. Red free beer and polka, you take what you get. Red free beer and polka, you take what you get. Beer, that's an ingredient that you're going to find at most Oktoberfest celebrations. It's pretty good that the Chardon Polk Band just happens to know a few tunes about beer. And of course, the Mount Angel Oktoberfest has been serving up good beer and good times since 1966, when the event got its start as a harvest festival, which certainly isn't surprising when you consider the large amount of orchards and vineyards in this area. We're going to celebrate the autumn harvest today with another necessary component of Oktoberfest, and that's yodeling. And who better to do our yodeling than the majestic maestro himself, Mr. Mike Franklin, who's not only a fantastic musician, but he's also my friend. the mountain tops and he has a sweetheart the fairest of them all he braves the 
ice and snow The coldest winds that blow Just to bring to her the flowers To prove that he loves her so Just to bring to her the flowers To prove that he loves her so And he said, yale, 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 and snow the coldest winds that blow just to bring to her the flowers to prove that he loves her so just to bring to her the flowers to prove that he loves her so and he said yale 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 I just love the yodeling antics of my good friend, Mr. Mike Franklin. They make me a better person. Now, is all this polka music making you thirsty yet? You know, Oktoberfest started as a wedding celebration in Germany, and you can't celebrate a wedding without raising a toast. All right, everybody, everybody, off your butts, off your high knees and raise your steinies. We're doing a toast and we're gonna do it right. Ein Prosit, ein Prosit der Gemütlichkeit. Ein Prosit, ein Prosit der Gemütlichkeit. Und zwei, drei, super! Ticket, 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 ticket! Und, und, und! Ticket, 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 ticket! Und, und, und! Now the gentlemen, ticket, 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 ticket! Oi, oi, oi! And the ladies, The band and I travel to these kind of events all across the country. But we return to the Mount Angel Oktoberfest year after year. And one of the biggest reasons behind that is the amount of passion and care we see from the folks who put this festival together. The Mount Angel Oktoberfest is put together and run completely by volunteers, men and women who are passionate about putting this festival together for their community. More than just a musical celebration, this event's purpose is to raise money for local causes and organizations like libraries, fire departments, nursing homes, and schools. In the 56 years this festival has been around, it's raised over $3.5 million for charities and nonprofits. These folks are truly invested in their community, and it's the kind of party that we like to be a part of. Oh, we have a fun time. Mm. 
Nestled in the rolling hills of the Willamette Valley, Mount Angel, Oregon's population is typically only 3,500 people. But every year during their iconic Oktoberfest celebration, this town swells with activity and visitors. As many as 350,000 people will travel here to this festival. 350,000 visitors? That's a lot. And while these folks are here at this Bavarian-inspired borough, they're going to be checking out local vendors, eating some fine German cuisine, and checking out polka bands at multiple venues. And it's not just yours truly, the Chardon Polka Band, rocking out around the festival. We're going to check in on some of my good buddies, the Salzburger Echo, all the way from Utah, playing at St. Mary's Church. The Alphorn or Alpenhorn may have originally been used by herdsmen, but wow, do I find it a truly transformative experience to listen to them today, especially when they're played by our good friends, the Salzburger Echo in that beautiful church. Now behind me, we're turning our eyes towards another point of inspiration here in Mount Angel, because not only is this town home to one of the largest Oktoberfest events in the country. It's also home to the Mount Angel Abbey. Established in 1882, the Mount Angel Abbey is a Roman Catholic monastery of Benedictine monks. The founders of this abbey came from Engelberg, Switzerland, and they noticed the Oregon landscape was not unlike that which they had left behind in the Swiss Alps. This landscape also serves as the perfect backdrop for an Oktoberfest event. The Mount Angel Abbey is a place of study and worship with its own seminary school, library, and museum. But the monks also have their very own brewery. This monastic brewery is the third of its kind in the United States. Brewing beer is part of the Benedictine tradition and it seems to fittingly capture the Oktoberfest spirit of this wonderful little town. With that in mind, we'd like to dedicate a song to the monks up here at the Mount Angel Abbey. Now, it's one of my very favorite old hymns, and we're going to play it with a polka flair. Standing on the promises of Christ my King Through eternal ages let His praises ring Glory in the highest I will shout and I'll sing I'm standing on the promises of God Standing, standing Standing on the promises of God my Savior Standing, standing
promises I will not fail when the howling storms of doubt and fear assail. By the living word of God, I shall prevail. I'm standing on the promises of God. Oh, standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior, standing. Mixing a little gospel in with our polka today. There's not much I like better. Now, both the Abbey and the Oktoberfest are big parts of this little town and its history. And speaking of history, I want to take a look at another wonderful tradition here in Mount Angel, the Glockenspiel, and providing the soundtrack to that today, the Marion County Citizens Band. Housed in the Edelweiss Building and Tower, Mount Angel's Glockenspiel is at the heart of the downtown landscape, and it's a cornerstone of the festival. The Glockenspiel's many figures pay homage to different parts of the town's history, and the construction itself serves as a celebration of the village's German, Swiss, Bavarian heritage. That very same heritage also lives on through the youngsters of the town, who can be seen here performing in their web dance dance group. There are 350 kids involved in this dance crew, and they perform daily here at the Oktoberfest. It's so wonderful to see these young folks celebrate their heritage and their hometown in this manner. Their dancing also serves as a reminder of what a unique event this is and how it can be enjoyed by folks of all ages. And another way you can enjoy this festival is by competing in the Oktoberfest Olympics. This competition consists of a series of challenges testing strength, agility, and festiveness. These wild and uproariously fun games can be joined in and viewed daily in the festival's beer garden. The Marion County Citizens Band has been playing this festival since year one. That's unbelievable, though I, I do think the membership has shifted a bit over the years. That is one of my favorite parts about playing events like these. We get to learn local history and meet new and wonderful people. Anybody who knows me knows I didn't just drive three days across the country to play music at an Oktoberfest. I drove three days across the country for a cinnamon roll. This tasty treat came from the vendors behind me. Now this vendor, like all the vendors at the Mount Angel Oktoberfest, are either a church, community group, or club. Once again, this is a great demonstration about how this festival is all about investing in the community. And it makes this cinnamon roll even more tasty. Now how about another tasty polka? I'd like to be an astronaut and fly around the stars. I'd search for signs of life on Jupiter and Mars. But I'll never be an astronaut, the reason it is clear. I can't be an astronaut in space, you can't drink beer. You can't drink beer in outer space. Can't get that bottle to your lips with a helmet on your face. You look as funny as could be drinking beer in zero gravity. You can't drink beer in outer space. Well, perhaps I'd be a surgeon, that'd be pretty keen. Oh, yeah? I'd remove gallbladders and kidneys and some spleens. Oh, Alas, it's true, that's not the job for me. Uh -huh. I'll never hold a scalpel, you can't drink beer in surgery. You can't drink beer in surgery. 
you don't want your doctor drinking before an appendectomy. So I'll choose a vocation that don't deal with operations so you can't drink beer in surgery. I could be a NASCAR driver, maybe I would be the best. All I'd had to do is drive real fast, and then I would turn left. I'd be fired in an instant, and they wouldn't let me back. Oh, you you're can't fired. be a NASCAR driver if you're swerving oh, around the track. Oh. You can't drink beer and drive NASCAR. But if you're up in the stands, then you probably are. But you can't be on the bottle when you hit the throttle. Oh, you can't drink beer and drive NASCAR. So don't drink if you fund the museum. You can't have beer working in a bank. You can't drink beer on duty in the army. Cause you can't have a drum driving a tank. If you want beer on the job, don't be a fireman. If you want to drink at work, join a polka band. Well, you can't drink beer in outer space. Can't get that bottle to your lips with a helmet on your face. You'd look as funny as could be drinking beer in zero gravity. You can't drink beer in outer space. You look as funny as could be drinking beer in zero gravity Or you can't drink beer in outer space You're watching the world according to Polka, and today we've been sharing stories and songs from the Mount Angel Oktoberfest. Now, while the Chardon Polka Band travels across the country seeking out top-notch polka events to perform at, we're also on the lookout for top-notch food. And that's brought us here to the Silver Falls Country Store, just a few miles outside of Mount Angel, to take a look at the epic Sasquatch Burger. The Sasquatch Burger is just as epic as the legendary creature, consisting of two big beefy patties, a third of a pound each, a double helping of bacon, cheese, ham, egg, and avocado. Now that's what I call one colossal burger. If you're in the area for the Mount Angel Oktoberfest, or for any other reason, you simply must stop at this beloved establishment. The Silver Falls Country Store is not just the home of the Sasquatch Burger. It's a place where you can buy beer, camping supplies, and other necessary items. They've also got this. It's a journal where folks share their Bigfoot encounters. The stories and legends of Bigfoot paint a picture of an elusive creature. But personally, I believe that if a Sasquatch came out of the woods and followed us to the Mount Angel Oktoberfest, it would see a place where people sing together, where people dance together and raise a toast together. And maybe upon seeing the Mount Angel Oktoberfest celebration, the Sasquatch would see that humankind does not need to be feared. It might even see a community that it wanted to be a part of. I know that's what I see, a world full of merriment, cheer, and love. It's the world according to Polka. Steht ein Hauptbräuhaus, ein, zwei, so war, da lauft so manches Bausen aus, ein, zwei, so war, da hat 
so manche brave Mann, eins, zwei, zu fahren. Who wants to show how much he can drink? He starts early in the morning and late in the evening comes out because it's so nice at the pub. 